Hello there, Erunar here, and today we are going to review Likumedes Dolopians. Never beaten. This hero is quite balanced archer hero. He is uh, having typical archer abilities, uh, with, that is that are boosting him, and one which is very uncommon to have more missile resistance. So let's have a look on his roster. We are starting with Islanders, since uh, we are starting on Islands, and these guys must use their unspottable ability to get into good positions, otherwise their stats and power is not good enough to survive. Next we have standard frontline spearmen. These guys are uh, relatively okay for defending, however they are not cost efficient, so I do not recommend to use them. Instead, I recommend using Dolopian spearmen. These guys are having better defense capabilities. They can block charge if they are standing still. For example, you use the guard mod and they are going to hold slightly better than standard spearmen. Next uh, we have Dolopian Tone Watch. Uh, since we don't have young spears, we are going to use this very fast charging uh, spears or flankers. Even though they are not having uh, any flanking attack improved, they have weak uh, defense. That's why we should use them as flankers and temporal chargers. Charge is good, defense is very low, be careful with these guys. If you want to charge more safely, I highly recommend using Dolopian Swordsmen. Uh, the Dolopians and the Swords are phenomenal for their charging capabilities. And these guys are even more furious and they reduce enemy defense uh, on the impact. So these are like chargers, flankers, very good swords. Swings prepared. For missiles we got good old uh, Achaean slingers, very efficient, good long range, a lot of ammunition. You are going to use them a lot. Next is island skirmishers. These guys are quite common. And you are not going to have a lot of armored uh, enemies in early game, so I would not use this that much. Bowman is standard archer unit for Achaeans. It's uh, slightly underperforming and I do not recommend this. Instead, you should go with Dolopian's archers. And these guys having better stats overall, better damage and they will hunt enemies slightly better and they are also very fast. Now let's look at the mid game and mid tier units. If we upgrade the port we can recruit island club warriors. These are very good against lower tier units. Their weapon is very strong against them and you can use the unspottable to be invisible when standing still. You can surprise enemies just by standing, holding ground and doing nothing. Spears. For spears and your front line you got quite good Delopian shielded spearmen. They are similar to the standard shielded spearmen. These can absorb enemy charge and negate it up completely. And they can hold quite well. For fast flanker and charger we got very good Dolopian city guards, 55 speed, good weapon which is excellent against swords, very nice charge and flanking attack improved. These guys are very good flankers, uh, I recommend using these, especially as flankers. For chargers or maybe for a kill line. You can use these Dolopian Armored Swordsmen. They are, they are having standard 
fast speed and they are going to bring enemy defense uh, either with Furious Charge or Flanky getting improved. So use at least two of them, use them as flanker, skill line, whatever. They are going to melt enemies very easily because of their very good melee attack. For the missiles we got Dolpian Veteran Archers. These have pretty good range and damage. Uh, 28 ammunitions is uh, quite a lot. Good for skirmishing. Uh, this will be doing quite well. As Achaeans we have melee chariots. These are standard good melee chariots. Combine them with your spear chargers and you will be doing very well. Or maybe you can combine them with the sword chargers. For more versatility you can try skirmish chariots, I usually do not recommend them. Uh, they might have good uh, projectiles, but they usually don't have enough models or ammunition to make it work. And also they are, they are not so good in charging. You would have to use melee mod to use them as chargers. I would rather recommend using normal chariots. And now let's move to the late game. Nobles of Skyros are having plenty of defense. Charge defense is still here. You are going to pin enemy units, hold them in the ground. With, with your chargers, guards of Skyros, they have tons of charge, pretty good attack. They are going to deal a lot, a lot of damage especially against chariots, cavalry or even mythical units. These are your flankers. Flankers and chargers. Very good unit. And now Myrmidons of Skyros. They are almost as strong as uh, typical Myrmidons from, from Taya. They are not uh, unbreakable. They are not having uh, too big stats. But they are very good at uh, dealing with enemy units. They are melee attack, quite good charge. They will reduce enemy defense. And this weapon has 15 bonus versus spears. So enemy spears will be dying under these Mirbidons. You are going to use them as flanker and uh, since you are not unbreakable, uh, you are left with causing fear. You are fearsome anyway. <laughs> now for the late game missiles, we got Bows of Skyros. 170 range with 53 missile damage is very good. That's how it should be. They can shoot while moving and they have pretty decent stats. And lastly, we got heavy chariots. We need to have heavy chariots. This is just like Taya, similar to them, and you will do very well. So, how are we going to use the army? We can use spears in their shield war formation. We can use archers behind them. But I would focus on these two charger units. They both have a lot of charge. And if I bring them together with chariot, I can deal a lot of damage and eliminate enemies quite quickly. So this kind of force uh, can make a big uh, dent in enemy line. So, so that's it. You are going to use your Myrmidons of Skyros quite, um, may maybe carefully, but be aggressive with these guys. Bring Masters more troops. To bring more troops, I that's would choose, command. for example, more, more of so these glory. flankers, more of the armored swordsmen, 
48 speed is good enough to make them viable. Yeah, this is this is a charging Phtaya kind of uh, faction. Maybe not as Phtaya, they are better. They are like some typical chargers. Okay, that's, that would be it. Please let me know how would you play this faction and always have, have a lot of fun. See you later.